Hello everyone, in this video clip, I'm going to show you on how to incorporate live weather data on Malaysia's map using Wolfram Mathematica. These are the outline to the topics that I would like to discuss in this presentation. First, I would like to show you on how to obtain the weather data at a specific location. Next, to obtain the weather data at a set of locations. Then, to show the wind pattern on Malaysia's map. And lastly, to obtain the wind direction of an area on Malaysia's map. Here, the weather data will be divided into three, which are temperature, wind direction, and wind speed. First, we are going to show the weather data in Kuala Lumpur. Giving it an assignment KL temp, we are going to determine the temperature in Kuala Lumpur. You can also graphically show it with the function name icon data with its property here air temperature. Next, let's obtain the wind direction in Kuala Lumpur, giving it an assignment as KLWD. To show it graphically, just change the property and quantity in the icon data function. Lastly, to obtain the wind speed, replace the property as wind speed and giving it an assignment as KLWS. Graphically, it is as shown. The next topic that I would like to touch on is the weather data at a set of locations expressed in latitudes and longitudes. We first show the region of that set of coordinates. As we can see here, the coordinates show the area around Kuala Lumpur. Next, we will obtain the temperature at this set of locations. As we can observe here, the temperature at the coordinate 3101.4 is 32 degrees Celsius and the temperature at the coordinate 3102.4 is also 32 degrees Celsius. Next, we will find the wind direction and wind speed at this set of locations. In this part, we are going to show the wind pattern on Malaysia's map. These are the codes to obtain a web page screenshot where we are going to use it to obtain the wind direction forecast at that exact time. This is the image of the weather forecast. In this next section, I'm going to show you on how to obtain the wind direction of an area on Malaysia's map. We're going to use the codes from the previous section. Just change the required information for the coordinates. As we can observe here, the wind direction is shown at a specific area. Next, we are going to observe the wind pattern at that specific area. 